G as in goodness. Have you seen this? The average person needs to make more than $35 an hour just to afford rent. We need to raise the minimum wage. Bob, do I need to explain what's wrong with this meme to you? I can explain it instead. Is there no escaping this pedantic crank? No. It's easy for people to manipulate statistics, and comparisons like this fail for a number of reasons. First of all, in a country as large and diverse as America, calculating the average rent for the whole country is basically pointless. Not only do rental costs vary drastically from state to state, they vary dramatically within each state depending on whether you live in the city, the suburbs, or in a rural location. And that's not to mention the obvious flaw of measuring a minimum wage against an average rent. You should compare average wages to average rental costs, and you should compare minimum wage to minimum rental costs. Go away! Moving on, this graphic, like many others, strongly implies that a large number of adults are acting as sole income provider for their families while making minimum wage. But only 3% of all wage earners make minimum wage, and the majority of them are young people. And the vast majority of them move on to higher paying careers later on. I will report you! And why are we assuming these people are living alone? Having a roommate or two can dramatically reduce the burden of rent and utilities. Roommates? Yuck! Clean up your mess, Bob! Stop clogging the toilet, Bob! Pay your half of the rent, Bob! Having roommates is the worst! People shouldn't need roommates! Rent should be lower! Well, if you really think rent should be lower, you should support easing zoning laws so more houses can be built. That would increase the supply of housing and result in lower rent for everyone. I don't want solutions that make sense! I want to be angry at the system! Consider yourself blocked and reported! And I'm calling 911! He blocked you too? It's thankless work.